हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मीनिंग नेचर एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक्स वी विल ऑल्सो सी एडवांटेजेज एंड डिसएडवाटेजेज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एंड डोमेस्टिक वर्सेज इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड सो लेट स्टार्ट इट सो वट डू यू मीन बाई इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स दैट स्टडीज अबाउट ऑल इकनॉमिक इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज इंक्लूडिंग ट्रेड फाइनेंस इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सचेंज रेट एंड ट्रेड पॉलिसीज इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स दैट स्टडीज अबाउट ऑल इकनॉमिक इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज इंक्लूडिंग ट्रेड फाइनेंस इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सचेंज रेट एंड ट्रेड पॉलिसीज एसेट्रा वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग डोंट कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स एंड इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स इज ब्रॉडर कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इज जस्ट पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स नॉट इंटायर इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स नाउ सी नेचर ऑफ इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स दिस इज डिफरेंट ब्रांच ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स विच एग्जामिन थेटिकल बेस ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड That means in international economics we will study about so many theories of international trade like Adam Smith theory, Ricardo theory, Hexter, Ohlin theory, etc. Both normative and positive economics. International economics is positive economics because it analyzes fact about international trade. This is normative economics because it provides suggestion to improve international trade. applied science because international economics apply policies and principles of economics in real international trade empirical discipline because international economics uses database analysis to study about issues of international trade more realistic international economics is more realistic because it study about a complex issue of real world like international trade finance exchange rate international trade policies etc now we will see importance of international economics help to understand global interdependence that means international economics explain how different countries are interconnected through trade investment or other transaction international economics explore benefit and challenges of international trade that means international economics explain gain from trade through specialization and comparative advantages at the same time international economics also explain increase in import can increase our dependency on another country examine impact of trade policies that means international economics examine impact of trade policies for example international economics examine impact of tariff quota on our domestic as well as international trade next importance study about flow of capital international capital flow represent financial transaction related to trade investment or business or production and international economics study about all these financial transaction examine effect of change in exchange rate what do you mean by change in exchange rate when price of our currency increase or decrease relative to another currency it will be called change in exchange rate for example if price of our currency increase relative to another currency that means our currency is appreciated if price of our currency fall relative to another currency that means our currency is depreciated all these will be called change in exchange rate and international economics examine effect of change in exchange rate international economics help to understand role of international organization as we know there are so many international organization like world trade organization world bank and international monetary fund and international economics help to understand role of all these international organization next importance addressing global uh, challenges international economics provide a tool to address uh, uh, global uh, challenges like poverty and income inequality informed about policies and regulation 
international economics informed about trade policies, monetary policies and other economic regulation that affect global market. Now we are going to talk about advantages of international trade. International trade means exchange of goods, services and capital between our countries. First advantage of international trade, fuller utilization of natural resources. Sometimes underdeveloped countries are not able to fully utilize their natural resources because of lack of infrastructure, technology and investment. They can export these natural resources in developed countries and gain through international trade. Cheaper goods. Through specialization and comparative advantages, we can receive goods at a cheaper rate in international trade. Variety of goods. Obviously, international trade is main source to receive variety of goods. For example, export those goods which cost is lower in our country and import those goods which cost is higher in our country. Next advantage, dispose of surplus production. Surplus production means when you produce more than your requirement and you can do export of these surplus production and can receive gain through international trade. Competition, international trade promote a healthy competition between countries. As we know, healthy competition is good for our economic growth. Wider market, international trade make our market wider because through international trade, we can reach to more customer, we can reach to, uh, reach to more markets. Access to resources. Through international trade, we can receive raw material, machinery and technology which is not available in our country. Increase GDP. How international trade increase GDP? Suppose our export increase. Increase in export will lead to increase in investment, output, employment and income in our uh, domestic country. Eventually, our GDP also increase. Economies of scale. We receive economies of scale when we produce at large scale. Obviously, when we have to do trade, we will produce at large scale. Eventually, it will lead to economies of scale. Promote foreign direct investment. International trade create uh, opportunities for company to expand in a new market and it will lead to foreign direct investment. Now we are going to talk about disadvantages of international trade. Economic dependency on another country. If you are continuous doing your import, obviously it will increase your dependency on another country. Trade dispute. Sometimes international trade can become cause of trade disputes among countries. Trade deficit. A deficit means your import are more than export. Sometimes international trade lead to trade deficit. Currency fluctuation. Many of time international trade become cause of currency fluctuation. That means the value of your currency is changing again and again. Sometimes value of your currency increase, sometimes fall and more fluctuation in currency is not good for our economy. Exhaustion of natural resources. Suppose in order to do export, you are producing more. Obviously, it become cause of exhaustion of your natural resources. Resources, unemployment. You are doing more import. Then obviously you are not buying your own country product. Then your domestic industries will suffer and lead to unemployment in, in your own country. Dumping means when another country dump their low quality product in your country at a very lower price. Obviously it will create harmful effect on your country. Political instability in another country can affect your trade flow. Intellectual property right. In case of international trade, it is very complex and difficult to protect intellectual property right. Trade barriers like tariff and quota increase the cost of production, eventually create a harmful effect on both customer as well as on businesses. Now we see domestic trade versus foreign trade. Domestic trade is trade between uh, traders of uh, same country. But foreign trade is trade between traders of different countries. Domestic trade occurs within geographical limit of country, but 
फॉरेन ट्रेड अकर्स बियॉन्ड द जियोग्राफिकल लिमिट ऑफ कंट्री इंश्योरेंस ऑफ गुड्स इज नॉट कंपलसरी इन केस ऑफ डोमेस्टिक ट्रेड बट दिस इज कंपलसरी इन केस ऑफ फॉरेन ट्रेड एंड गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज आर सेम विद इन कंट्री इन केस ऑफ डोमेस्टिक ट्रेड बट इन केस ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड डिफरेंट नेशन हैव डिफरेंट ट्रेड पॉलिसीज विच ओवरऑल इन्फ्लुएंस ट्रेड and the factors of production are mobile within country in case of domestic trade obviously within countries factor of production are easily movable but in case of foreign trade factor of production are less uh, mobile and payment are done in local currency in case of domestic trade but uh, in case of foreign trade we use different currencies in order to do trade so this is all about uh, international economies i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care